The history of Ghana's power sector dates back to 1914 when the government sponsored public electricity supply was commenced at Sekendi Takrade by the then Ghana Railway Administration, now Ghana Railway Corporation. Since 1914, the West African country has taken several steps to increase its power generating capacity and connected many parts of the country to the national electricity grid. From having Akosumbo Dam as the only source of power, Ghana can today boast of different sources of power generation, such as the Bui Power Dam, thermal power plants, as well as some independent power producers, IPPS. Through the efforts of successive governments, electricity coverage in Ghana is about 85%. Additionally, Ghana, in 2007, discovered oil in commercial quantities and began commercial production in 2010, thus joining the oil-producing countries in the world. The creation of EnergyNewsAfrica.com is by this to help in disseminating information in both the power and petroleum sector within Africa to the world. Michael Craig Affle, who is a publisher and managing editor of EnergyNewsAfrica.com, shares his mission. I'm very passionate about energy issues because it is the backbone of every economy. One will agree with me that for transportation se sector to run, you will need fuel. Again, if industries are to operate, they need regular supply of power. Furthermore, one will agree with me that both educational institutions and health facilities also need electricity to be functional. So this is why I say that energy is the backbone of every economy. Michael Craig Affle also shares how he birthed the name EnergyNewsAfrica.com. I was initially posting my stories on MyNewsGH.com and GhanaWeb.com because the online of my station had encountered some challenges so it could no longer function. As I said in the beginning regarding my passion for the energy reporting, I was thinking of what I could do to ensure that players in the energy sector are updated on a daily basis. So one day I visited the Executive Secretary of Public Utilities Regulatory Commission, PURC, and in the course of our conversation, Madam Mami Dufi Ofore advised me that I create my own blog where I will be posting my story. I thought through it and finally took the decision to create the blog. So in February, I contacted a young man by name Marvin to search if there is no online with the login name energynewsafrican.com. As the agenda and focus is not only on Ghana, Michael explains. My focus was not only about Ghana, but Africa and global. The young man did the search and the feedback was very positive. So I gave him some money to quickly get it registered. I must say that the success story of energynewsafrica.com within the few months has been very, very phenomenal. Weekly basis, we have an average of 1,000 people visiting our website. We have readers from Ghana other African countries and outside. Some industry players who have been reading from energynewsafrica.com share their impression about the contents of the website. Engineer Jonathan Amwakoba, the Chief Executive Officer of Ghana Grid Company, Gridco, speaks on his impression about energynewsafrica.com. I first saw Energy News Africa's website about eight months ago and I've been following the news that have been posted at the site. It deals mainly with the energy sector, and uh, most of the time, they started talking about uh, the energy sector in Ghana, but now I've seen that it has even gone outside Ghana to Africa and even to the world. I think that the information posted is very useful to me as an industry player, because I get to know what is happening in other parts of the world and even in our country, especially on the electricity sector and then the oil sector. I think that's a good thing that you, you did. And I believe that going forward, you are going to feed us with information about our sector so that we'll be abreast with what is happening in other parts of the world.
Mahamedou Fier Ofori, the Executive Secretary of Public Utilities Regulatory Commission, also has this to say about energynewsafrica.com. This website, in a nutshell, has come at the right time. It's come at a time where an energy sector is actually, what I say, going through a rebirth. And this uh, website has ensured, which I must say, has to get information from all aspects. There's always um, postings and updates of information. You read about both what is happening externally, especially in terms of um, commodity prices like fuel and others and gas prices, as well as internal, which is very important, what is happening right from upstream to downstream and combined with the regulatory aspects. So my impression about the website is that it has become a key tool for informing all of us as players in the industry, as well as giving us the opportunity to also host our information. The Chief Executive Officer of the Association of Oil Marketing Companies, Mr. Kweku Ajimandia, speaks about his impression of energynewsafrica.com as well. Formerly, you have the energy issues just being fragmented. If you want this information on this, you have to go to another website, to go to the last website, but this can be one stop shop. And uh, I'm very happy that such a shop is there for us to be able to get all the new information again. You, you cover conferences, you cover a lot of news items around the globe at a GFI, which really helps us than for us to go and navigate through the website, you know, other website for us to get information because we don't have time. It's been helpful one way or there for us to make decisions. Sometimes, especially the crude oil pricing and the, the refined petroleum pricing, you know, otherwise you have to go to Platts. So Platts is very expensive, you know. So it gives us some information on pricing, which is easy. It talks about accidents and incidents which happen in other countries, which use a learning curve. It talks about all the other issues happening in other countries, specifically in African countries. Some we cannot even easily get us information, which is really good for us. Mr. Fred Oware, CEO of We Power Authority, also shares his impression about energynewsafrica.com. Every single day, I receive some news on the energy market, not just in Ghana, but uh, on the continent, and some significant news item also globally. He has been doing this consistently uh, for, for, for close to a year, at least as far as I was put on that platform. And I'm very much impressed. I've already made this known to him. And I think it's the beginning of major things to happen to uh, that uh, news uh, unit. I wish, uh, I wish the effort will flourish and become a global portal that everybody will be visiting uh, as soon as they want something. Uh, this is the first name that should come to mind if they're looking for information on the energy industry. Our vision is to become the leading energy news portal in Africa and with a commitment to disseminating energy news within Africa and projecting Africa's energy news to the world. On this note, I would like to thank everyone who has contributed to the success of energynewsafrica.com so far and urge everybody to continue sharing our stories, open your doors to us so that together we can send Africa's energy news to the world. EnergyNewsAfrica.com, disseminating Africa's energy news within the sub-region and the world.